Hello and welcome back to Super Bonus Round, our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host, Rain Wizard767, along with my friend Mugiwar Jam. Hello, everybody, we ride! Alright, so now we're. I would have preferred to eat the rich, but I'll take bird in their shit first. Yep. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were. We gave new meaning to blaze it. We should go in the back way, though. Or the first one. Significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I. Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Holy shit, that terrible lie worked. God, that was almost as bad as, uh, can we get into your secret property? No, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Only cause you said please. <laughs> that's all, that's almost as stupid as that line was. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get in your property? No, would you do it for a scoop of snack? <laughs> oh, 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 and then we get in. We ain't gonna make a lot of strike twice freight? with the brains. Quit glitching and hit, start hitching. All right. Um, what are you doing, beans? What's beans doing? What am I doing? Sure, we have weapons on us. All right. What the fuck? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for 
purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus. Is Why didn't you three heads? Fathered many a rape. You don't have three heads. You died for that. Sure, huh? Don't lie to me. Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy there. <laughs> Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa. <laughs> Go easy, boy. Fuck you, you killed my handler. <laughs> Come on, Trigger! What the hell? Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Uh, nothing. You're being robbed. I said, stop these men. Stop. More coming this way. Out of the fields. Ooh. Yeah, baby. You heard us shooting from the hip? Well, you got shot in the hip. And you in the beard. Mom from Futurama again. <laughs> More on the road there, hijo de puta. You see any more of them? No? Don't think so. Dog? Yes! <laughs> Whoops! When I say get along with a doggy, I mean it! Ah, shit! Oh. God damn it. Beans. Oh, good, the horse got stuck. You're lucky I have no sense of spatial reasoning.
Fuck! How in the hell? Hold them there, beans. Come here. Come on. Easy. Oh, what the fuck? We're just supposed to hitch him to beans? I... <sighs> that rope's flying. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier <clears throat> so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. The fuck? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I have no they idea what that means. They was he a beast? But I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I which like one is you just stupid born again? I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All yep. Right. You goddamn fool monster. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clyde. <clears throat> well, somebody lied. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. What's the uh, timer at? 15 minutes. Soon to be 16. Okay. Right, so we can squeeze in one more. Let's see. Map. Mm. 
fuck you, Micah. We'll go talk to Trelawney. Yep. But I think that we're gonna save him to the literal last minute. Speaking of save, thank you for reminding me. Ah, oh, I said the secret word. Awesome. But you have auto save back on again, right? No. Oh. The, because you see that. Okay. So let me show you something. This is my file right here. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Um, that's why I'm waiting. But. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's why I'm just making sure. So it doesn't overwrite any file. Okay. Okay, so let's go see Trelawney. Nope, fuck you, Strauss. I still hate Micah more, but you can fuck off too. <laughs> I ain't beating up no more poor people for you. Actually, more about going after rich people, but... Alright, then that's fine, then. Are you busy, oh, wait, I forgot. Charlie's over there. <laughs> I just wanted the pet brains. Tell what a good boy or girl she is. I don't remember which one she is. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stage? I ran into one. Never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. All right. Now those are famous last words. Yep. You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden. Is quite a fellow. He's very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Easy. You be easy. <laughs> well, we almost did run into him again, and we've had we've had enough Arthur running right into on. things lately. We can hitch up. <laughs> <laughs> can the introductions, Arthur. I still can't get over you running running to a pole, and as soon as you regain your composure from laughing, you run to somebody else. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> like, not as soon as you catch your breath, it happens again. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. said times are tough my missus is a bad woman terrible woman they often are but how's work Alden? terrible wages got cut again they reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us <laughs> they've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel the witness of bosses i know my comrades here and i are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty a discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us. Of course. A man of distinction. Okay. Well. Depends on your definition. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, Adieu. Oh, adieu, wow, very I... eccentric fellows. Hmm. What we got here? What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that. Coach thing. coming south down River Road to so or stand valuables and strong box. Passengers are very wealthy. This is Chester Damson, aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. <laughs> aspiring but appalling. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Means you no good, honey. Yeah, you remember Roseanne doing the national anthem? Yeah, basically that. Okay. I think oh, I God. Have a spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go this way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry. Yeah, because of Micah. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize. Oh, yeah, well, when we raided him at a prison. Yep. And we killed, I guess, half the population. Yeah, half the town. Yeah, I ain't going back there if I don't have to. Fuck that shit. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad. Okay? All right. This is the spot. Whoa. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. 
I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. <laughs> this is Damson. Oh, very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Oh, I like this track. There it is. Right up. Time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. ahead and get the coach to stop you hang back don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing Giuseppe is the name he's using. I don't know the problem, but it doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> and the horse shit itself when she rose, raised her octaves. Thank goodness that went off without a hitch. Yeah. For sure. once. For once.
Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. <clears throat> all right. So what's the timer at? Thirty-one minutes. All right. Let's uh, let's hold it here so we don't have any more mistakes. All right, so next time with Super Bonus Round, we will uh, go see what we're going to do next. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> somehow I'm worse than she is. <laughs>